All right, guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man Jay. Today we bring you the smart pad from AGM Mobile. So this is one of those ruggedized tablets that are, just can go anywhere. Uh, and we're gonna pop it open here. So some of the specs I wanna share first are right here. So you've got Android 14. It's got a military standard drop test at 810H. IP68 and IP69K adjustable shoulder straps and removable case, which is really nice. It's 11 inches and it is 90 hertz. Uh, and it has 480 nits of display brightness. Now you might say, oh my God, 480, yeah, but this is for this tablet, this is gonna be pretty pretty reasonable. <clears throat> so you've got 50 megapixel rear camera, uh, a total of 16 gigs of RAM, that's eight and eight, so eight virtual, uh, and then eight on, on board and 256 gigs of storage. Android 14, 4G LTE, which is one of the most important parts for a lot of people because they're gonna be traveling and they wanna get something on the go, which is mobile and an 8,000 milliamp hour battery inside. So let's go ahead and crack this thing open here. I already took the main plastic off. I'm gonna go ahead and cut through the security seal and we're gonna show you what's inside. All right. Ta-da. Yeah, this is really nice. It's got a little bit of weight to it. It is a 8,000 milliamp hour battery inside of a rugged tablet in this big case. So I'll let you marvel at this for a second and then I'll show you the other contents. This is beautiful right off the rip. I mean, that is the case. So don't think that that's the actual body of the tablet. It is not, that is the actual case. Other things you have in here, you've got some AGM stickers. I think that's pretty cool. We'll sit that right there to the side. Here's your adjustable strap. You've got your charging cable, USB-C charging cable. You have a brick as well, and it is type C, and this is a fast charger here. Let's see if I can see how much this is. My glasses will not focus on that. Oh, it just says 20 watts max, but that's pretty good. Still pretty fast. Any other contents in here? You've got a, looks like a, Oh, these are just uh, covers for the tablet. And then you've got some manuals and stuff like that. All right. Looking to see if there's anything else. Because in the picture, I see a pin, but I think the pin is optional. Yep, that is all that's in that box. So we'll put all this aside. And we'll leave our represent find your glory all right put that right there and here's the tablet uh, this is the got that have me very rugged sturdy stand now this gives you a look at the back of the of the case here with on the tablet you can see all the cutouts here for the camera really really nice cutouts for the, all the speaker grills and everything then you've got usb over here just labeled perfectly so you can never mess that up and you got your headphone there so along this side here you can see it's kind of smooth nothing just drop text drop test drop protection on this side you have the power and i'll go ahead and pop that on there you go and then up here you have the volume and that's going to be it and there is a slot here for a pin and i will remove this case um uh, after I get this all set up. But here it is in the front, man. It's very, very sturdy design. The, this comes in this case like this. You would think this was the actual tablet. But let me pause and uh, let me get go through this real quick and I'll get into the tablet. Now, real briefly, while I was going through the setup, a security patch update popped up and I just it, it wouldn't let me pass without installing it. So when you get this, you're gonna, you probably will have a security patch update or a software update right away so i'll let this go ahead and install all right quick update is um it's still installing so i'm just waiting for it to continue and then i'll get on and keep watching okay guys we are back and let me see yep i can do this orientation so um all i did was go through everything and then put it into dark mode so as you can see here you see the little arrow you can swipe up looking for some bloatware or anything like that this is actually a pretty clean tablet in comparison to some others i've used this rugged style right here uh, but this is what you get pretty much stock android i'm going to go into settings here 
Uh, and we're going to go down here. We're going to go down to uh, system. And let's see where we are here. Android updated to Android 14. So I think that uh, that's the June patch. Um, but uh, the one that started up initially. Uh, but Android 14 is on the tablet, man. So that's really good. And you see this is running ROS, it says. But this is just their official overlay basically uh for the for the device so you've got a octa-core 2.2 gigahertz processor right there there's the branding as your cameras screen resolution 1920 by 1200 battery 8000 android 14 the build number and everything so that is pretty cool that they kind of have this setup here uh, you got your internet speed and network connections bluetooth pairing and everything so you've got bluetooth uh, don't see any NFC in there, but that's that's cool. It's a tablet, I guess. You got your apps, your notifications, your battery. You can see here one touch power saving you can use. You can show your usage here and battery saver. You got your sound and vibration here. Um, these speakers might, they're decent. They're definitely, yeah, they're pretty loud actually. All right, that's... <laughs> All right, so you got your system. It just turned back on from the system update. So, yeah, but this is actually. Uh, I, re I retract that. These speakers are loud. Wow. That is a loud speaker on there. So, that's the AMG Glory sound. Yeah, these are. Wow, these are some loud speakers. My goodness, man. I mean, it's gotta be like a quad setup back here or something. I'm gonna take it out of the tablet and just a, out of the case in just a second, but wow, this is a loud set of speakers on here. So if you are outside working in some kind of area and you're gonna be using this tablet, you don't have to worry about sound, that's for sure. Uh, <laughs> that You do not have to worry about sound you got sound enhancements here speaking of that and that's not even oh man the speaker boost wasn't even on wow i could only imagine i could only imagine yeah so you got your sounds your display here again i went in and changed it to uh dark mode that's all i've done as far as this and i'll always change this to five or so uh, okay you got your dark theme set you got your text and everything you can make the font bigger, smaller. Yeah, font size. I need it kind of big like that. Uh, bold. Let's see if it. Yeah, that looks good to me. Uh, but yeah, that's your display settings. Eye comfort, colors, auto rotate, screen refresh. It is 90 hertz. We're going to put it to 90 hertz. It was on auto. So it'll show you that it's. The smooth, smooth, smoothness. Network speed is is uh, displayed up here. It asked me to set up my 4G LTE, but to put my SIM card in, I, I just skipped it obviously because I don't have a data SIM card to put in here yet. Uh, then you got your wallpapers and personalizations. This is pretty cool. Um, it looks like they've got a few wallpapers in here. Let's set this one. Let's just set it as both. It's, it looks like it's just two wallpapers. That is pretty cool. That is cool. All right, that's nice. Uh, yeah, that's pretty nice. So you see if you have any no no law no live wallpapers. All right. Oh wait wait a minute wait 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 a minute wait wait I want to go back in here into um uh I'm losing it. Get back in here to wallpapers. I saw something in there that was looked interesting. I went on ahead, went into the actual wallpaper settings. You can see the themes down here. That is actually really sweet. This is what I was looking for here. They've got the grid on here as well. You can do five by six, five by five. Pretty cool. And a lot of phones don't even have that, sadly. But uh, changing of the wallpapers, this is where I was going to. This is all they have on here. Uh, but I think this is pretty good. I like it. I like it a lot. All right, let's go back in here. So aside from wallpapers, you've got your storage. You can see here, 256 gig. 
increased RAM space. It's already done here. You can see it's already up to eight gigs. They have it at eight by eight already. Uh, eight plus eight, I should say. Uh, the storage used, 6%. It's the storage manager, yep. Uh, and that's pretty good, 256 gigs. You'll need it for something like this because you, if you're on the go a lot, um, you'll need it. You can go extra dim on the display as well. You got a magnifier, obviously you got the display with the text and everything. Accessibility menu, all these things, system controls, vibrate haptics, uh, audio description, okay, here's, okay. Flash notifications, always like to have that on. Text to speech, access, accessibility shortcut, okay. Uh, you got your security. I turned off all the security and everything just to get through the video, but uh, just to hurry up and get you something. But that's ultimately it, man. This is a stock Android uh, device, and uh, this is a beautiful display. I'm gonna go ahead and play something on YouTube. I'm gonna search for me on YouTube and see if I can find this here. Keyboard is nice. Haptic feedback is pretty cool. All right, let's see here. Watch who's better at catching. Yeah, I gotta tell you, these speakers are crazy loud. All right, guys, welcome back to another video, Shaman J. This video is 2,500 miles later with the 2024 Tesla Model Y. Now, I've really been enjoying this uh, car, man. I actually got 25. My face when it's giving through, like, <sighs> so this thing is ready. It's kind of taking a second to get up to 1440, so we'll. Put it to something more simple like 720. This is 1920 by 1200, I believe. Okay, buddy, come on. Try and do a video here. Okay, well, looks like we won't be watching any videos. <laughs> let's just try this one. And you're wondering when yeah, you should one's... charge okay. it. Well, that's what this video is about. This is my third Tesla that I've owned. And I got to tell you, man, this is a loud set of speakers. I just can't believe it, man. It is loud. You get the gist of it. But here it is. I have made some changes to the car, as you can see. So I want to start yeah, this is this is nuts. I just want to show you the display here. Now I'm going to go ahead and take this out of this case. I'm going to do this real time here. See if I can figure out how to get this off. This is a removable case and it's probably, yep. It's just how I thought it was going to be. It's probably going to be, oh, so front part, front portion first. This part snaps off first. Yeah, there's these little ridges around the edges here. I'm sure this was in the instruction manual <laughs> that I didn't read. <laughs> But yeah, it looks like this portion comes off first, this black portion, and then this portion unsnaps here. Because I don't think a lot of people are gonna be taking this case off. You can see there's little ridges around <clears throat> this whole thing. I don't think a lot of people will, will take this off much. Did I even have to take that portion off? I didn't. <laughs> this is this could have stayed on, but here's it. Here's the 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 tablet, man. It's, this is a nice feeling tablet it's a little thick i mean it's got a it's got an 8,000 milliamp hour battery so what you just learned and i just learned is you don't have to take this back portion off you only need to take off the uh front portion and then the tablet will come straight out just for reference so when you buy this if you decide to take it off for a second which i don't think a lot of people will especially if you're giving it to like your child or something or you're just at work you're going to keep this on but this tablet uh, itself it's actually pretty cool it's got a nice frame on it it's a little got a little weight to it I like it all right next time Jay read the instructions in the manual <laughs> I'll be the guinea pig yeah so this doesn't need to come off just the other portion just the front portion yeah there you go see that kind of hooks around all these little areas here and just this front portion comes off. Yeah, it's kind of sleeps on like that. But this is definitely a nice case. And if you have the pen, 
it'll go into there. And this is a nice carrying handle. This thing is super strong, man. Now I'm taking a look closer at the hardware on this thing. Here's the button right here. Here's some microphones up here. That's a volume rocker. Here's the power button. And yeah, it has quad speakers because uh, here's two speakers right here and there's two speakers right there. So looking on this side here, you've got your headphone jack here and those little clips inside of there. Uh, those were extra versions for this. So there's the type C and then this, this has a headphone jack, which is just nuts, but there's your headphone. That's pretty sweet. And then here's your SIM tray over here. Right there, you'll pull the extra tab out and you get an extra set of these in the box just in case you lose them. Uh, now let's pop open this camera here. And we'll pop a couple of photos. So here's the camera settings. It does have HDR. Uh, let's go into settings here. And you've got 12 megapixel. Yep, 12 megapixel, 4x3, and 9 megapixel uh, that way. You've got your volume. You've got the grid. All right, let's go out of here. Let's go over to video. Let's, just checking to see what it can do for video. Uh, 30 frames per second, 60 frames per second. There we go. It can do that. And video quality. It's one of those high, medium, low ones. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and just do a quick little thing here. Whoa, that's that loud bling. This is just a quick sample here. You can see what the video quality looks like and also what the audio is going to sound like. The auto has, this tablet has two um speakers are two microphones at the top all right so let's go into that video whoa that's that loud boom that's a, just a quick sample here you can see what the video quality looks like and also what the audio is going to sound like the auto has this tablet has two yeah um that's pretty good that's pretty doggone good that's pretty doggone good all right so let's go back to photo and we'll take a photo of this here. And let's go ahead and pretty, pretty good. Pretty doggone good. I can't hate on that. Pretty good. Can get a little wash around the edges, but that's just a, this is just a quick photo sample. And let's take a picture of something. Let me grab this here. Now let's get someone with a little bit better color. Let's get the knife. Oh yeah. And I'll do a 2X. They've got a, oh wow, that is, you can turn off camera sounds if you want to. I typically do. Uh, all those extra sounds is not a good look. <laughs> I don't like them. Uh, but yeah, this is a pretty decent camera for a tablet. I mean, it's a tablet. Uh, so, you, you know, what do you expect? So you can go into 50 megapixel photo. And let's do this. Actually, let's just take a picture here. Let's just do it like this. Fast shutter time, that's for sure. You can see, it does pretty pretty good. Not, not bad at all. I mean, it's a tablet's camera. So with that, you've got photo, video, then you have slow motion, panorama, AR stickers, watermark. You can put the watermark on. If you want to do the watermark, and take a photo. All right, got it, got it, got it, got it. You got your time on there for the watermark. The time lapse and the QR code scanner. So you also have portrait mode right here. So let me see if I can quick get a quick portrait shot. Yeah, it does. It does portrait on the front and the rear, by the way. I'm just gonna take it real quick. Let's see here. I was looking in the wrong spot. Hold on. <laughs> All right. Yeah, just remember the camera, the front camera is over here. All right, there we go. You can see decent, definitely not the best. But again, this is a that's the front camera and this is a tablet. Uh, so just look at it. Look at it that way. You have night mode and you have pro mode. So uh, the camera is somewhat versatile. 
I mean, it's, I'm not going to tell you it's the mind blowing camera that I've always wanted, but the fact is, it's pretty nice. On the top here, this is the LTE antenna on the top there. So there you have it, man. I mean, uh, this is a nice tablet from AGM Mobile. Really nice. It's definitely one that's in within several people's reach if you want a tablet and you have that rugged tablet feel with the case on it. You take the case off, you just have a regular tablet. Beautiful display. Everything looks good. Well made. And uh, it's nice and sturdy. And I think it's pretty cool. Camera bump isn't too bad. It's pretty eclectic. It looks like my OnePlus camera bump on my uh, one of my OnePlus devices, which is a compliment. Uh, but I really like it, man. So hope you guys enjoy it. Let's get in here and change this again. Let's put it to change the wallpaper back to this wallpaper and see how that looks. Set on. All right. Looks decent. Really like it. It's your man, Jay. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.